Hey guys, Jambo Comics back in the comic book room. Got some more Golden Age to show you guys today. Stuff I love, stuff you love. So we'll get started and start you off with some uh, reproduction comics. Yes, yes, reproduction comics number 52 of the Fantastic Four. First appearance of the Black Panther. Uh, I think I already have a reproduction of that. But just thought I would grab another one. So there we go. That'll be a nice little comic for somebody maybe. In a little bundle. I've been reading these right here. It's a pretty good story. Avengers War Across Time. It goes back to when the Avengers first formed. And first started. And has them fighting against Kang. And he's like uh, behind the scenes. Kind of pulling all the strings in this. And causing them a lot of trouble. But it's been a good story so far. And we've had Alan Davis doing the artwork. Uh, pretty great stuff there. So I've really enjoyed that. So check that out if you can. Eric Breen told me about that. I've been reading them. They've been pretty good. Picked up a few other things. Like some Flash Gordon here. It's a nice 35 center painted cover. And I just like Flash Gordon. Good sci-fi action. And I picked this one up for a buck. Just a great cover. So, yeah. What are you going to do? You can't leave that behind for a buck. Charlton Haunted. All new Haunted. So, yeah. You can't leave that behind for a dollar. Pretty cool. It's in pretty nice shape. Uh, got this one for a buck. A nice Wonder Woman. Excuse me, Sheena. You're not acting right. Uh, Two sixty-two. Uh, Wonder Woman beating up all the bad guys there so very cool and I picked up a couple issues of this that I was missing and this wasn't a dollar I don't remember how much I gave for it I'm thinking it was like six or seven dollars but uh, needed that one for my uh, adventure into fear run there so trying to get all the man thing issues of this and I'm getting closer. I think I only need two more, I believe. Uh, I think 10 and 11. So there we go. There's number 12. And the man thing was brown there instead of the more traditional green that he is now. Well, he was there in the little side box, though, too. So, yeah, just pretty cool. Nice covers. And got one of these, number 13. And, uh,. It might be Mike Plug, maybe. Or Frank Breno doing the art. Let me see if I can see. Doesn't say, but... One of those guys. Good stuff. Adventure into Fear, number 13. So, gotta get closer on them. And I picked up a copy of this for a pretty cheap price. That is uh, Incredible Hulk, number 170. With Herb Trimp cover and yeah just pretty cool stuff hulk smashing the big beasties there so yeah marked it off my incredible hulk run and all right guys this next one is a nice golden age that i i got some more golden age from a good for, good friend kevin at uh, gotham city comics in arizona um Go check Kevin out. He's got great books there. Gotham City Comics. And I was lucky enough to get a few more uh, Golden Age goodies from him. Like this one. That's right. Yeah, Sheena's not going to act right, is she? Let's put her over there. And uh, it's nice Gabby Hayes. Western, number uh, 36. Yeah, how can you resist that face? That mug there, right? Gabby Hayes. <laughs> photo cover uh, from Fawcett Comics. And it's number 36 from 19 and 51. Fawcett Comics. Gabby Hayes. Yeah. And we got another one of those from 1950. This is number 15. Yeah, thinking about getting that one slabbed. What do you think, guys? Send it off and get it slabbed. <laughs> Gabby Hayes. But there's not too many of those on the census. What do you think? Number 15, and uh, yeah, it's in really nice shape, though. Really nice. So, yeah. Once again, thanks, Kevin, Gotham City Comics, for some beautiful comics 
And some nice Gabby Hayes action there. These were fun to read, though. They really were. And, uh, yeah, there's one from 1948. It's number 82 of Prize Comic Westerns. And, uh, yeah, this is number 82, like I said. And this one had a Black Bull story in it, so... Yeah, these were pretty cool. I love that trade dress up there at the top. Man, that just, that's very cool. And the picnic, uh, ta <laughs> picnic, uh, tablecloth uh, shirt there is pretty, pretty busy. So, yeah, if he's trying to hide with that on, good luck, right? Uh, yes, the preacher was one of the stories in this one. So, yeah, number 82. 52 big pages. Very cool. And here's another one from 1948. This is number 81. With a Billy the Kid story. And uh, this one also had the Black Bull in it. So, yeah. Very cool Western action there. Like I said, love that trade dress up there on those. And from 1948. Prize Comics Western. And 52 big pages. Don't take... Any less, don't settle for less. So, yes, I'm liking that. This one had a great chain cover. This is number, uh, this is number 17 from 1950. It's from DC Comics, and Western Comics, and has the Wyoming kid in it. I had a chip missing up here at the top. But other than that, pretty nice shape and beautiful train cover on it there got the damsel over there in distress i guess in the yellow dress <laughs> and uh yeah just fighting off the bad guys maybe they're trying to hold up the train or whatever but uh i think that's the wild wing kid right there trying to defend the train pretty cool stuff love the western action there great cover number 17 19 and 50. yes I'll take it. All right, guys. Finally, I got an upgrade on a nice book that uh, I've been looking for. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you my original copy. Okay, there's my original copy. You can see that. It looks like it's been ran through a washing machine or ran over by a lawnmower or something. So, pretty rough. But it was a jumbo. It was like a placeholder. And this is number... 160 so it's later in the series right with a beautiful maurice whitman cover and i always love that cover sheena jumping in there nice <laughs> nice picture of sheena there coming in to save the day to rescue the uh gorilla there from the bad dude but yeah just very cool and you might recognize that from this and i don't know who that bad guy is there on this one but, uh, yeah, he looks like a shady guy. I don't know. Okay. So, enough of that. Let me show you my, my uh, new one I just got. There it is. Number 60. A little bit better shape. So, I was a little bit happy with that. And uh, it was pretty good. Like I said, it had a couple little wear places on it. But, uh, all in all, very nice shape. Uh, the staples and everything were good in it. The page quality was nice inside. So, a nice, beautiful Maurice Whitman cover. And, yeah. Sheena swooping in to save the day. This is from 1952. So, like I said, it's toward the end of the run of Jumbo Comics. And those beautiful colors. Beautiful Sheena. You can see why I love these. And just great artwork and stuff throughout them. Good girl art throughout the thing. And I'm very happy with that. Number 160. That's the haul today, guys. Hit that thumbs up for me if you would. And uh, leave a comment. Love talking to you guys. Always do. And um, check back. Um, hit that uh, notification bell to be sure to get uh, told when Jambo puts up new content. Try to do stuff about once a week. And as the beautiful Donna Mills says, subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a great day.